Good morning, Arcadia High School. Welcome to our 2020 All School Assembly. Please rise for our national anthem performed by Sean Tours. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the I do walking tours of the 9-11 Memorial for the 9-11 Tribute Center. And I meet people on my tours from all four corners of the globe. On every one of my tours, I mention that most people don't remember what they did yesterday. But I have had so many guests on my tours come up to me and say that they remember every single detail about where they were and what they were doing on September 11th, regardless of where they're from. When you talk to anybody, say, you know, and you tell them where you were on September 11th, they'll tell you exactly where they were, because even though they may not have been in the building, but they'll definitely remember where they were. And people always remember every single moment of that day around the world, because September 11, 2001, is not just New Yorker's story. It's not, it's not just my story, but it is international. A part of history and a history of every single person in the world. And what I say to my guests all the time is, that's your 9-11 story. And you should tell it. Because by telling it, by doing so, you help us to share history and you help us to keep the spirit of what happened here alive. And I'm inspired by that. That gives me so much hope. I believe September 11th would be the equivalent of D-Day for certain generations or Pearl Harbor or when JFK was assassinated, you know, those seminal, you know, markers in your, in your history, in your lifetime. My cousin was in Pearl Harbor. My father and grandfather remember Pearl Harbor. These generations will need to remember. I think it's important to try to remember some tragedies. Remember that life can be very precious and can, uh, can be gone in a flash. These are emotional memories that cannot be translated into a textbook. These are stories that we tell people, and hopefully the generation will understand this here and bring it forward to the next generation. I feel that a lot of people use September 11th to remember the wrong things, to remember the divisions instead of what brought us together. And I think as more and more time goes by, more and more people just remember the hate that caused that act instead of the love that followed it. We were all one that day. People from New York, D.C., all over the country and all over the world, everybody was united. I think that's why everybody remembers where they were, because everybody's heart was here. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember September 11th. 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 We would like to thank all of our brave first responders and military personnel for their service to our community and our country. 19 years ago today, our country and our world changed forever. 
2,977 innocent people were killed in simultaneous terror attacks on the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and on Flight 93 over Pennsylvania. This included 343 firefighters and 60 police officers who selflessly ran into harm's way to help rescue the innocent victims of the attack. Please join me in a moment of silence as we remember all of the innocent victims whose lives were taken that day, the heroic responders who lost their lives running into danger, and the men and women of our armed forces who have paid the ultimate sacrifice fighting for our continued freedom. Hello Arcadia High School student body, staff, and administration. My name is Caitlin Tran and I am your ASB president. It is an honor and a privilege to be speaking today to commemorate the events that took place on September 11, 2001. I would first like to thank all of the brave first responders who risked and gave their lives to save the victims and to express my grievances to those whose lives were lost or affected by this tragedy. Their selflessness and strength in the face of danger and devastation serves as an example for us all. Generation Z as a whole has never faced a life-changing experience until now. We were all too young to really remember the effects of 9-11 and the recession, and so the enormity of the pandemic seems almost alien. Growing up, I had never once expected I'd be living through a global pandemic, and I'm sure that this entire situation has been as shocking for you as it has been for me. So I'd like to take this time to speak to the classes and staff of Arcadia High School about living through this pandemic as best as we can. Firstly, be responsible. On 9-11, heroic first responders risked their lives to save as many people as they could. Now, hundreds and thousands of healthcare workers, grocery workers, and other people with essential jobs are actively risking their well-being to maintain our quality of life during this pandemic. It is only right that we honor their sacrifice by staying home whenever possible, avoiding unnecessary outings, and wearing masks and practicing proper hygiene whenever we need to go out. I hope that by practicing individual responsibility, we can ease the burden on the essential workers that support our community and reduce the effects of this pandemic as much as possible. Secondly, take care of yourselves and those around you. While 9-11 was a national tragedy, it has also brought us together as a country. It is then all the more important during this time where we must be physically apart from each other that we stay together as one. Take care of your mental health and that of your friends as well. Stand up for the less fortunate and speak out against social injustice wherever it may arise. Cherish the time you spend with your family because if this pandemic has taught me one thing, it is not to take anything for granted. Finally, I would like to emphasize that school and grades are not the most important things in the world despite what some people have made led you to believe. I'm sorry this year of your high school experience has been so unorthodox, but I hope that you can make the most out of it and still have fun along the way. To my freshmen, sophomore, and juniors, make sure to take care of yourself and not to burn out so that you can still enjoy the more normal school years that have yet to come. To my fellow seniors, I understand that the college application process is even more stressful this year, but we'll make it through together. Staff and administration, thank you for all the hard work that you continue to put forth during these unprecedented times. You've all shown how much you truly care about the students of Arcadia. Planning online lessons, creating online tests, making sure we have internet, keeping us fed, these actions only scrape the surface as to how much you care and the commitment you have exhibited in ensuring we continue to receive the education we deserve. Thank you. As we commemorate the events of 9-11, it is imperative that we acknowledge that those that were an integral part of saving so many lives, but also to honor those that did not get the opportunity we have in front of us. Seize the day and seize the moment. Thank you to all of those who directly were impacted and in were involved in 9-11. Without your courage and sacrifice, we would never truly understand the opportunity we have in front of us. So don't be afraid to take chances and make the best with what you have. Join a club, play some games, and make a new friend. 
Even in this virtual environment, there are still so many memories, experiences, and new opportunities to explore. I hope you not only cherish the memories you've made, but open yourself to making new ones. Thank you. Hello. Thank you for joining together in respectful memory of the events that occurred on September 11th. As a nation, like all nations around the world, we have faced adversity, obstacles, and tragedy. Even as individuals, we face these things in our own lives. We're all shaped by events and circumstances, some in our control and some beyond. What we do have control over is how we respond. Each school year feels like a fresh start to me, a time to reflect about what I can do differently, what I can do better, not just as a principal, but as a person. I ask you to join me in this effort, to look within and to examine our thoughts and actions. Ask if we are being part of making our lives our school community and our world a little bit or a lot better. Each of us has the power and the opportunity to be a force for positive change. And doing what's right starts with each of us as individuals while we support each other as a community. None of us will be perfect each and every day, but together we can all strive to be better. Better friends, better siblings, better students, better people. In Arcadia, we strive to inspire and challenge our students to make a positive and profound impact on our world. With the support of the entire community, our school board, our superintendent, staff, students and parents, together, we must prepare you to face tremendous challenges and to fix the problems in our society that we, the older generations, have not been able to solve. Each day, I am inspired to work alongside the students of Arcadia High School you are intelligent, creative, and driven, and you're also kind and deeply passionate about social justice and making this world a better place. When I think of our student body, I see 3,040 unique individuals with hopes and dreams and your own vision of the future and your place in it. You're not all the same. I encourage you to value your special individuality respect, yeah. acknowledge, and celebrate our differences. Engage in real dialogue, find common ground. Instead of being the loudest voice, be aware of who is silenced. Accept that while we may have differences, different beliefs, different ideas, we are all part of this community. If we can do that, if we can truly listen to each other and respect each other, then we can make a tremendous positive impact. If the students of Arcadia High School are any indication, and I believe you are, the future of our world is in very good hands.